Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 45 of Europa Universalis for As Arabia. We are in another war because of course we are. It's what we do. Um, things I believe are going quite well. Uh, we've just got a minor entity out of this war. Saved us a few... Uh, get, well, actually gained us a few ducats. We, we took quite a lot of stuff from them actually and got some war reps and over a thousand ducats. So that's all good. Um... I want to take everything that I can from these guys. We probably need to get the um, Golden Horde out, or the Great Horde, or whatever they are in this one. This is the Great Horde. We need to get the Great Horde out of this one. Um, now, Fars are still involved in this war. Having Fars not in the war would be nice. So let's just go and march around there and um, help beat those up a little bit. That'll help. And uh, the Great Horde is getting seed out by Coruscant, so everything is going fairly well. Uh, admin tech, we're not quite at the cap yet. We are about to do some coring. I'd like to try and take everything from them if I can. Let's start moving some units up here. If I can get the Great Horde to peace out, in fact, we might even be able to just get them to white peace. Yeah, they will do. The Great Horde's willing to white peace out. Out you go. I don't want anything from them. I just try and want to get out. Um, I shouldn't have maintained that diplomat with Spain. Let's get you guys together. Right, now the question is, can I get Fars out of this war at this point? No. So we are going to have to go and do some damage down here if we want to get them out and give us 100% war score over here. That's fine. Um, we can take an idea, which would be another military idea. We are still a few years ahead of time. The next one is ship durability, which is not great. This is the thing I don't like about quality ideas. I'm not, not big on the three naval ideas that you get in here. Uh, the morale of navies isn't too bad. Neither is the ship durability, but naval combat is never a big part of EU4. Uh, but getting to the artillery combat ability and getting to the 5% dis discipline, it's worth finishing it for those so we are going to have to take these things at some point whether we find them useful or not so let's go and work through that and i know i'm taking a ton of attrition over here but there's not much i can do about that let's put you guys together on the coast seems like a sensible idea and it won't be too long before we can have another another bite out of the ottomans as well right you guys uh split up and, um, yeah, sure, let's head through there. We'll actually catch that army off guard. At least I thought we were going to catch one of them, but they seem to have given us the slip. So let's go and move into this province here. Cheeky little gits. Um, we are still working our way towards annexing Ethiopia. Let's bring you back from Spain. Let's go ahead and continue fabricating. Let's make sure we've got some... Have we got some claims against you? Because we could do with some. Let's go ahead and start building a spy network on you. I've also just remembered I never did do this states thing. So Constantinople, which has 75% autonomy. We want to go ahead and turn Thrace into a territory. Look at this. Income goes up to 4.67. Really worth doing that. And, uh, of course, if we call all that, that'll cost us a bit of our um, admin points, so that's fine. You guys group together. You're a 14.54. What's our normal stack? A 14.6... Uh, 24.610. So, yeah, that's fine. So, we're starting to, to climb up towards our... Um... Actually, lost a siege down here. You're really getting involved with this? Well, that's fine. We'll take your other stuff. I don't mind. Let's go ahead and see if we can... Can we catch these guys if we force march? Mm, we might be able to catch them a couple of provinces further down the line because they're not forced marching. Trade dispute with Russia. You're moving into there, are you? Into Com. Let us, let us make sure we stop in this province. And let's see if we can just move into there. Looks like we will actually catch them. Plus one diplomatic reputation. Always nice to have. Looks like there's another war going on here as well. A, a, a Bamani war as well. Uh, let's go ahead and just turn off that um, forced march. Let's get you back down here doing something. 
You guys should be grouped together so you avoid the attrition. Okay, that's all looking good. Uh, rebel factions are quite low at the moment. We've got a free merchant that I hadn't noticed somewhere. Where's that guy not been? Uh, we should definitely have one. If we don't have one already, um, we should make sure we've got a merchant here. Um, probably collecting, actually. Because um, there's no point steering any. Uh, where it, w This is not an end mode. Uh, words. Words today. This is not an end node. I think we'd be better off moving our main trade capital to here. So we might be better off doing that, actually. Um, cannot move trading port while at war. I think we'll wait until we're not at war. And we'll go ahead and... Because our main trading port at the moment, I don't think is as valuable... Um, there's 20 ducats in this trade node. There's 30 ducats in this trade node. I guess we'll send one here to collect for a while. And we'll see what happens. But let's get out of this war first. This would be the nice nice thing to do. Um, it'd be nice if we could just get these guys out. Looks like Coruscant's cleaning up down here for us anyway. In fact, will they actually get out? I'd be happy to take a white piece from them. I don't really need anything. Um, did that just remove one of our merchants or something? What, what just happened there? I have no idea what's going on. But that's pretty standard for my EU4 games. Not knowing what's going on. These guys are being annoying down here. But uh, we've got a wall breach finally. So that'll help. So let's just go and move some units in down here. And, and sort of stop them from getting back over here I suppose. Keep our eye on this uh, tech. We're still a few years ahead of time. Looks like we are going to go in there and possibly win a battle. No, you actually went the other way around. Okay, we've got the capital. Let's go ahead and grab you. In fact, they're probably willing to just peace out now. Yep, oddly enough. Uh, will you take war reps? Yes, you will. Will you give me all your money? You don't have much, but yes, you will. So let's get these guys back home. Okay, so there's now only one participant in the war. We've got 99%. I'm not sure why we don't have 100. Uh, but we want to sue for peace. And can we take all of this? We can. Uh, gives us a fair bit of overextension with a fair few people, a bit of aggressive expansion. Uh, but I think that's fine. We're wiping you out, so we might as well take what little bit of money you have left. And job is a good one. You guys can stay here and drill. But you're going to stay there so that you can deal with any rebels. Overextension isn't that bad. We've completed our mission. Uh, do you have some separatists that we'll need to get? Let's get you guys together. We can cancel our military access with you. Let's cancel that. Uh, what do we want here? M move towards uh, legalism. Still going towards legalism. We can take a new mission. Um, what have we got here? What's this one? Owned um, Kuban. Who owns that currently? Russia. Yeah, that's probably not happening. Let's go ahead and try and recover our manpower then. Polish our armed regiments, lose, lose five army professionalism, and remove, re, uh, remove elite regiments. What does elite regiments give us now? I can't even remember. Good discipline, thriving armies industry, elite regiments. So we gain an extra 40% army drill modifier, but it costs us more maintenance. We're making plenty of money, so it doesn't really matter. Can we afford better leaders, uh, better advisors? Um, I can't promote you, unfortunately, because you're in the wrong culture group. Um, could promote the trade efficiency guy, but we're not really lagging behind on anything, so I'm not going to bother. We'll just save up the money for now. So these guys are going to come back over here. We're, we're only about a year and a bit away from being able to fight the Ottomans again. And I think that is something that we will want to do. So, yeah. That could be interesting. 
Right, there's a 40 stack. Let's group you up and get you over here. I think we've potentially got a really good chance of beating the Ottomans. Uh, now, what ships do I have? Where, where are my fleets? I have 39 lights and 10 heavies. Most of my lights are still... Well, not most of, but some of my lights are still stuck down here. We can't currently get around Africa, which is a problem. I'm guessing you wouldn't give us... Um, Yeah, this is this belongs to France directly and we're enemies, so they're not going to give me anything. Uh, can you give me maps in some way? Don't want to steal maps. Let's be an option to share maps. Where are we? Uh, not not steal maps. It's under economy, isn't it? Request to share maps. They are at war. Who isn't at war that might help us? Request to share maps. Um, we'll ask them to share their knowledge of Congo. If they accept, we discover 12 provinces. We lose some prestige. We have no units in the region adjacent to this. So we actually have to have units in the region, which is a mechanic I don't particularly like. We will find out what's going on down there at some point. Uh, it looks like we've got some guys crossed over into our borders, which are these guys. You're going to sit up there, are you? Well, we can go and kill them that way. Doesn't matter that we're not at full maintenance because we'll overrun them. So it doesn't matter what our um, doesn't matter at all what our morale is, because uh, if you've got ten to one units, it's an instant instant stack wipe. There we go. You don't, you don't lose anything. You don't even have a battle. You just instantly get rid of them. That's how, how that works. Now let's make sure that we do get some claims over here. We will need to try and take them out. So if we were to declare war on the Ottomans right now, we'd be fighting these guys in the Netherlands. And that, I think, is, is fair enough. Um... We're a year away from being able to do that. Uh, we're not going to hit the admin cap, so I think we can wait a little bit longer. Would be nice to get this up to a 40 stack. Our manpower's not great at the moment. Can we go ahead and ask the um, Amris, Amris for levies? 30,000 manpower, they lose some loyalty. Uh, we give them some extra influence. Would that give us more manpower? I don't know. Um, where's the danger here? Is it over 80% or 70%? Let's call it a, a, a diet. And then that gives us... Um, if we do this now, 30,000 manpower. Yep, so go ahead and do that. And then if we take this army here, we can go ahead and conform that to the template and get that up to a 40 stack. That's the plan right there. This army is probably going to stay here for now. Uh, let's keep moving towards legalism. You're going to stay here for now. When we're ready to go to war, we will move over and attack, um, get ready to take these guys out. We'll probably just jump straight into their capital and just force them to peace out. That's pretty much the plan here. Uh, in the meantime, let's make sure everybody else is doing as much drilling as possible. So, manpower's fairly good. Don't need to be giving people military access all over the place. That's fine. Military access from Lubeck. Why am I getting involved with Lubeck? So things still seem like they're going well. Now, Yemen. How are things with Yemen? Yemen is a nation that needs to be removed from the map. They're allied with Fars and Jam. Which is a little bit tricky, but we could we could do that, but I don't want to I don't want to currently get tangled up in a war with Yemen. I want to get ready to um to have a crack at the Ottomans. Uh, do we have claims on both of these? No, we don't have a claim on this one. This is one of the ones that's also got a lot of um so let's go ahead and continue to build a spy network over here. If we can get a big enough spy network, a spy network's zero at the moment. It'd be nice if we had some spy network. 
Uh, do we have a claim on you? We do not. Not yet. We need 35. So we must have a claim somewhere. Oh, we've got a claim here. Got a permanent claim on this province for some reason. Um... Okay, so what have we got going on here? We can gain some prestige and some base tax. Lose some goods and tax in one province or gain some prestige. No, I guess we go for that one. Also, while we're not at war, do I go ahead and move my trade port over here? I've got a feeling that I should. Um, 37, 38 ducats for trade. If we go over here and make this our trade province, cost us some diplo, but that's fine. Now, we don't need to be collecting here. We want to move the trade fleet. You're going to probably... Um, she wouldn't be that much different. You're still better off in Aleppo, for look of things. Let's just see how that works out for us. So it was 38 ducats. This might all just go terribly wrong now. Now that's just dropped down to 21, but we'll wait until it's a full month. Military leader has left us. Foundation Afro can no longer serve. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another leader. Let me just have a look at my list once again. Uh, it's going to be um, Lucas, I think. Lucas Campbell. So let's go and add you in again. Can't remember the number. So on we go. You are a 2420 siege, which is not ideal. But not terrible either. Okay, let's have a look at trade now. I still struggle sometimes getting trade to work the way I want it to. Yeah, trade is not very good at all. So what we want to do, let's go to the trade map mode. We want to not have a guy here collecting. Because um, we collect here automatically. Um, we want to control as... Now this is Aleppo. Now Aleppo we're forcing down here. But what we could do is force that way. Steer the trade into Constantinople. And we then... When our guy comes back... We then put you here and transfer trade power. And you are going to transfer that way. There we go. So now everything is sort of heading out this way. There's still quite a lot going out there, isn't there? Why is there so much trade going that way? Who's um, Who's got all that trade power? It's quite a lot of it of the trade going. Not as much going this way. But let's see how that has improved things. Or if it has improved things. 30.81. Still not as good as it was. But you know, I've kind of committed the action now. Right, you, you're now taking attrition, which is not surprising. So let's move you over to the uh, to the coast. Manpower is generally good. We're almost at that point where we can declare the war. So I'm going to go ahead and move you over here. I'm going to go ahead and just take their capital really quickly because that'll get them out of the war. Um, you guys are going to stop drilling. You guys have already stopped drilling. You're not drilling. You guys are going to unmothball. You guys are actually going to come down here because we'll get all of the boats together. Do we want to go ahead and take this? Um, we've not hit the cap yet, so we will probably wait. And as soon as our truce is up, we're going to have a little look at attacking the Ottomans again. Um... Lost another general, which is not good. No, we'll still we'll keep that. Who have we lost? Hardan. Well, we only just assigned Hardan not all that long ago. And uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and reassign him again. So let's put in Hardan the second, who is probably like the fifth or the sixth by now. But Hardan the second. And you, sir, are a 164. No siege, but that's a hell of a lot of shock. So I am happy with that. Uh, when is our truce actually up with the Ottomans? It is April of 43. Uh, oh, 43. April of 43. Um, you guys is 33. June of 33. So we can go ahead and attack these guys. 
We can do that now, which will give us a, a, a way to attack the Ottomans. Now, the Ottomans will be a co-belligerent. Oh, sorry. The Ottomans won't be a co-belligerent. So everything will be a lot more expensive. Um, Timurids bypass Great Horde. We can deal with this, I think. And I think, I think we've got to. I think we've got to. Um... I don't know. It might not be as... I've changed my mind here, and I'll tell you why. And, uh, yes, I am being a little bit flaky, but the reason I've changed my mind is that if I go to war with these guys, I can get the... I, I can't get these guys out because they will be the war leader, which means I've got to try and knock the Great Horde out, all the little guys, and then go to work on the Ottomans, which I probably could do, but it's just a pain. So we'll wait a few more years. It's fine. I don't have a problem with that actually i'm i'm unsure I'm, I'm at that point where i'm like what what do i do do i go and take because we could grab these like really valuable provinces what are they worth 19 24 see we'd need almost 100 war score against the ottomans just to get these three provinces we'd also struggle to bring our allies in against the ottomans so it's probably not worth doing so to that end let's go ahead and get you back protecting trade Um, Alexandria looks like it's better than Aleppo now, considerably. So, you go and do that in Alexandria. Uh, let's go ahead and consider, um, Yemen, then. It's about time. It's about time Yemen was dealt with. Um, you guys go back to being over here. And we'll keep you around just in case we have any problems with rebel factions you guys continue coring you're mothballed you're doing what you should be excellent that all seems fine do we have a cb against yemen currently let's have a look uh apparently we do got conquest cbs all over them for some reason um got permanent claims i guess that's because we formed arabia I guess that's the advantage. I guess Arabia just gets, like, permanent claims over, like, loads of stuff. So that's not a problem. We don't need to get a CB. But that is something that we will do in the next video. I'm actually going to go and split this army in two. Send half of them down. Send the half with the leader down this way and send the other half down in this direction. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because we are well over the 20 minute mark. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Hope you are still enjoying EU4. I will see you next time and until then, goodbye for now.